Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You may be wondering what I'm doing out here in what looks like the woods. Well, we're in our location in Sunset, Texas. The sound you hear in the background is the guys building the shop. It's coming along a little slower than expected, but it is coming along. In the meantime, I have picked up another vehicle. This is one I think will make a good project vehicle. You can tell me what you think. Let me show it to you. And here she is in all her glory. It's a 95 standard cab short bed. As you can see, it's missing a few things. Uh, picked this up at auction. It was, uh, it was stripped and abandoned. And it's missing a few things. Obviously the grill, headlights, assembly, engine, transmission. But most of the wiring is missing. There's not a lot left. That's why I think we can take some liberties with that. Oh look, a bird has made a home and there's some, looks like a couple of little eggs. Nice. Well, don't want to disturb him right now. But what it does have going for it is, it is a standard cab. It is a short bed and the frame is straight, has not been hit that I can tell. Uh, the body is rust free. The fenders are good. Cab is good. Bed is nice. Uh, even the tailgate looks good. We're in good shape for a beginner project. Uh, it's got some 31, 10 and a half, 15s that are gonna come off. Can't have that. And on this other side, uh, it's got one oddball wheel here and a bigger tire. Had to have something to roll on and it's missing most of its lug nuts. The mirror, yeah, it's seen better days, obviously. Anyway, let's look at the inside. Okay, it's missing its bench seat, the door panels, the rear trim panel. About the only thing it does have is the lower trim panel that goes below the steering wheel, uh, but the dash is pretty beat up. You can see it's cracked, ripped, pieces missing. Uh, somebody in, the, in their haste ripped out the radio and all that stuff. But again, it's got good bones. Now, one thing I'm kind of out to lunch on is somebody cut the roof for a sunroof. Not something I would do. Uh, there's several options there. We can either reskin it and make it solid, or we can put another one in it. Or we can see if we can make that one work and just do with it. Uh, my question to you is, what do you think we should do with this? Should we uh, get a donor vehicle? Uh, LS swap it, of course. Get a donor vehicle and uh, supply the things that are missing, such as the complete wiring harness. In fact, almost all the wiring under the hood is gone. But a donor could provide everything that we need. It was a V8 truck. I can tell by looking at the motor mounts. Don't know if it was a 5 liter or a 5.7. Doesn't matter. Uh, it was also automatic. And obviously had air conditioning. So since it's missing a lot of these items gives us uh, really a blank slate to work from in terms of what to do with it. Um, you know, if you think we should uh, lower it, uh, you know, a 2.4 or a 4.6, maybe a four-link rear suspension, uh, make a little hot rod out of it. In the comments below, tell me what you think we should do. Should we keep it low buck? Should we spend a little bit more and do it up nice? The paint isn't that bad, really. I mean, it's got its scuffs and some scratches here and there, but really isn't too bad. My thoughts were, I like the look of the uh, mid, late 60s, early 70s NASCARs. So what about dropping it down, putting some eight inch steel rims on it, uh, painted white and uh, a rowdy motor. Uh, it seems to me like it's too good to part out, although <laughs> a lot of stuff is missing. Uh, it has the potential to be put back together. We'll take all your thoughts and uh, ideas, put them together, and see what we come up with. And this will be the new project, Chuck. We're still working on the 91. Uh, I've just had to put it on hold for a little bit because of the building that's going on over here. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time driving and moving back and forth between uh, my home and the new shop. And uh, it's just going to take a little time to get, us, get me completely over here. And once here, then uh, 
sort everything out so I can get started. So what do you think? What should we do? I've got a lot of ideas. I'm sure you do too. Let me know what you think. Catch you in the next video.